What's up, family? It's your girl Zai from Officially Zai, and I am back with another video. In this video, I'll be sharing with you all how I organize my mind in CC folder. Obviously, you all will organize it how you want to, but I figured this video will be helpful for someone who is looking to organize their minds and CC folder. Maybe you have a hard time, especially when EA drops a new update and you can't really locate the mod that's causing your game to crash or mess up. So hopefully by me showing you how I organize my mods and CC folder, this will help you navigate that in the future when it's time for an update or if you just need to update your mods folder, if your game is acting weird, then this should help you out a lot. So if this video was helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, let me know what videos you all would like to see next. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is my mods folder here. Um, I'm trying to see the best way to explain how I organize my mods folder. So at the very top, well, let's start off by saying this. Every time I add something, if you look at my folder here, you will see that everything is, it starts with a symbol. So I decided to use symbols because symbols, it provided me the easiest way to organize my folders and what do I mean by that so at the very top it made sense for me to add the cast background the loading screen map replacements and the plumb bot replacement at the top because to me these are like the major things that I have in every save every game and if I ever need to locate these I can locate these at the top if I want to change my cast background I can just go into it and change it to whatever I want to change it to um, the same with the loading screen so in order for these to remain at the top I put an exclamation point at the top so that these will stay at the top so at the very top I have cast background loading screen map replacements plumb bot replacement and then it goes into some other mods so these are other override mods that I put in a separate category by themselves so you'll see in the beginning it has the number sign and this is you could Organize it any way you want to, use the symbols any way you want to, but the symbols are very helpful to help break your minds into categories. And as I continue with this video, you'll see what I mean by that. So with the number sign mods, I have Lori Sims, so all of the motor vehicles that I've downloaded. So if for any reason something happens or she decides not to update the mod, the vehicles or just something weird is happening i could just literally go in here and delete the entire folder um this is this is the same thing with the pc games override mod this was a major mod for me as well because it's overriding all the pc games within the the sims 4 game so the same with the television show overrides and the video game overrides so these were important to have at the top because these mods are a little bit more specific in regards to like there may be a lot of modders out there that have video game overrides but you only can have one at a time so i needed to be able to go in here and see which override am i using for the time being so that i don't run into a conflict with my game or cause it to crash because i have too many pc game or whatever too many overrides in the game and mods do conflict so that's why i have these separated in categories so the next category i have is under the percent symbol and these are food and drink mods so any type of mods that relate to food drinks um 
you know, overrides, things of that sort. I like to put it here because there are always new recipes. Some recipes go out of date and you just need to be able to locate where the food and drink mods are so that you can update it. For example, the cookbook by SNS um, was recently updated. And so I was able to go here and see that maybe the previous one was 11.8. And I, when I went to go and update the game, I saw that she had one for 11.9, 11.09. So I was able to edit this folder. I was able to delete it and create a new one with the new cookbook. So another thing, another tip that I would tell you all, if you download a mod and they have versions, it is so important to label what the mod is and also to add the version. Because when you're going and your game is acting, when you're playing and your game is acting weird and you don't know what's causing it, you can literally go to your mods folder and start to locate mods that have versions. And you can go onto Google, look up that mod and see if there's an updated version of that mod and compare it to what you have in your game. So you can easily see that, okay, this mod is outdated. I need to update it immediately. So that's another tip for you all. Same with the functional buff A. If they don't have a version, I will put the date that the down that the um mod was released that way i know you know months from now if i do decide to check just to make sure my mods are updated and she maybe she released a new one for september and i can see the last time that i downloaded this mod was in march so i can see that i need to update this mod so that's just an example of how I am breaking these mods down into categories so that I know what I'm looking at. So all of these are food mods. If you move on down, I have, so my at symbol is where all of my other mods are. So these are mods that are not related to food. It's more related to like the UI or something that is affecting the gameplay i would say um for example the better pie menu or pose player base mental drugs would be under this mod this mods list so these are all the mods that i have listed under the at symbol um for example lot 51 they just released um a new update as well and so i'm able to see here that the last the latest version is version 1.23 so anytime they do an update i can easily look here and see okay this is the latest version i don't need to update this this is fine i haven't updated my i haven't updated my folder recently because I know EA just released another update and I'm for certain that um, MC Command Center has released a new update as well. So let's just use this one for an example. Um, MC Command Center 2024.5.1. 20, so I can see here that is the last version that I downloaded and I'm going to go over to the internet and I'm going to, I already have it saved up here. So that's something you can do as well. Like your main modders that you like to get CC mods from, I you can save it at the top is what I do, but it's just a preference. So I'm going to go here to NC Command Center. And I'm going to go to download MCC and you can see the latest version is 2024.6.0. And when I go to my folder, I can see that, let's see, where was I? MC command. I can see that the latest one is not downloaded. So I would just change the version download the new version and change this number over to the new version and just add it to my folder. I'm not going to do it now because I have my game open. Um, I don't 
it's not going to allow you anyways, but I was going to say, I don't recommend you trying to do this while your game is open, but it's probably not going to let you do it anyways. Um, but these are all of the mods that I have in my game. Um, you will see some that don't have a version by it. It's because when I downloaded the mod, it, there wasn't a version. And a lot of these, I, the ones that don't have a version by it are probably ones I don't have to update as often. So just keep that in mind as well. If you're downloading a mod and there is a version, you want to add that version, but also keep in mind, this may be a mod to keep your eye on because there may be several updates to that mod and it could cause your game to <clears throat> mess up if you don't update it. So the next category that I have is bills. So I love to download bills off of um, Google, like Pinterest, Simstem, um, Sims Resource. So I created a category for bills and I used a little arrow to separate these. Um, another tip I would tell you all as well with bills, when you're downloading bills, it is so important to make sure you're not downloading the same CC or the same mods because sometimes when you download these bills, they will have um, merged files. And I really recommend not downloading merged files because there's a possibility that some of the CC that's merged, you may already have it in your game. So I like downloading bills from Beans Bills. And so I created a folder called Beans Bills CC for Bills. So basically what this folder is, is every bill that I download, I will copy and I will cut and paste the CC over here. And nine times out of 10, a lot of the CC, if this is the same mod, if this is the same um, person building these bills, they're going to use some of the same CC. And so you don't want duplicates of that CC in your folder. So I will cut and paste the uh, CC here and my computer will let me know if there's a duplicate of something and I just will skip those. So that's another tip as well when you're downloading bills because that can also cause your game to run really slow or even crash if you have duplicates of CC um, in your game. So the next folders that I have, I have cast CC folder and I have a build by CC folder. So these are um, separated by lines. As you can see, a line here and a line here. And the reason I separated these is because this is a big part of keeping your folder organized. So let's go into build by. So when you go, when you're downloading CC, it is Again, it's imperative to make sure you're not downloading the exact same CC. So to make sure that I was not doing that, I started, I haven't finished because it can be very time consuming, especially when you download a lot of CC at one time. So there's still folders that I have to go through, but you can see at the very top, I have started to organize them into sections. So for instance, if I'm downloading beds, I'm going to put all of the beds in the beds folder. That way, is some if some CC is acting weird in the game or it hasn't been updated and you need to take it out, you can literally go to the beds folder and see what beds you downloaded and just look for it and delete it. So to me, that made it a lot easier, even with sofas. Any sofas that I download, I will add it in the sofa folder. So refrigerators, same thing. So um, the only time I will not add a refrigerator or any CC into the CC folder is if that particular CC is has a script, like if it's modded and it's functional and you can use it for multiple things. I hope that makes sense. Like if it's a major mod that affects the game, I'm not going to add it here. I'm actually going to add it to my mods folder under the at symbol because that may be something that I need to update often. But any CC that I have here that's not needing 
to be updated often, I will just add it to the Build By CC folder. And this folder is specifically for Build By only. So I do the same thing with my um, CC folder as well for CAS. So I will divide it by um, default bra and panties. I put that at the top because you don't want to have too many. Um, I believe you can only have one default bra and panty in the cast. So I always need to know what default I'm using at the time because I don't want it to conflict with any other um, mods that I have in the game. So you can see here, I've divided it by anklets, beards, blush, body presets, bras and underwear, um, breasts, like if there's like things that override the breast portion of the cast, uh, dimples, ear presets, earrings, eye bags, eyebrows. So I wanted my folder to be somewhat um, organized so that if I'm looking at a lip preset that I don't like, I can literally go to lip preset and see, for example, if I don't like the Sammy XOXO lip mask, I can just literally delete it out my game. Um, so to me, that makes it a lot easier for me to keep track of what I have in my game and what needs to be deleted. As you can see here, I haven't finished organizing everything. So anytime I download new CC, I will put it underneath to sort through and I will eventually sort through these to see where it needs to go so that my folder is organized, organ, organized, oh my gosh, <laughs> organized um, so that I can play my game and enjoy it and not have to troubleshoot every time I open my game. So the next one is under the plus sign. So these are going to be all of my pose packs, any um, overrides to uh, selfies, things like that. I add all of those to the pose pack to the plus sign category. Um, this Again, this is where I can easily find poses. If I want to delete poses or add poses, I can do that. But knowing where my poses are and if I add new ones in here, I'll be able to know whether I'm downloading a duplicate of something or if I have not downloaded that in my game. So that just makes it a lot, a lot easier. So the rest of the mods that I have here aren't really under a category, and this is just a preference. I have a lot of Kiara, Sims 4 mods, Little Miss Sam, and Q and BB mods in my folder, and so I just added them at the bottom because I know that's where I'm going to be able to find them. Um, I'm not sure why that one is there. <laughs> But um, I probably didn't move it because it doesn't bother me that much because my folder is pretty organized. I know where everything is, but that is my mods folder. I really hope that this was helpful for you all. Another tip that I would suggest is downloading Patreon, the app on your phone, iPad, or whatever, and make sure you follow, or if you want to subscribe to your favorite creators, in that way, also hit the notification, because you want to be notified anytime that a mod or a creator release an update, because you want to jump on updating your mods folder, so your game does not go into like crazy freak mode, because you have mods that need to be updated. For example, I recently got a notification that the MC Command Center mod had just been updated. So I knew that before I opened my game, I need to update that. Obviously, I did not update it before opening my game because I really wanted to get this video out. And it's not something that completely crashes my game. I can still play, but I also um, am going to update that after this video because I just want to make sure that it's updated so that it doesn't mess up my computer. I'm sorry, mess up my game down the line. Um, 
the same with base metal drugs. There are going to be mods in your folder that are huge mods that when it needs to be updated, your game will not work at all. And I have those mods in my game, which is why I add the the version, the number, because I need to know what version I have and if I need to update it. Um, but yeah, that is the end of the video, guys. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't forget to reach out to me. Let me know what videos you all want to see next. And also, I am still helping you all. I, I'm more than happy to help you if you need help with your mods folder, CC folder, or if your game is crashing and you're still trying to figure out how to move your mods CC over to a new drive. My website is still up, is still active. So um, just reach out to me or go ahead and book your appointment. I will have the website link down below for you all to book an appointment if you're interested in having me help you with your sims your sims game so yeah that is it guys i will talk to you all later i hope you have a great week peace out